And welcome to the channel. Today at Worship Band Builder, we're talking about how to use a mixer. I'm using Yamaha mixer today to go straight into your iPhone to do blogging, podcasting, live streaming. You can do this for your church. You can do this for your podcast. I'm gonna show you how to set the levels. I've got all my cables here and a microphone. Now I'm doing a series of videos, so check out the channel. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. First of all, we're going to plug in a microphone. The mic that I use when I want to really get good quality like podcasting sound on a budget is an SM57 with a windscreen. So it's right here. This is the SM57 with a windscreen. And it's a phenomenal sounding mic. We use it in all of our podcasts. So with this mixer set up, the reason you would want to use this mixer is if you want compression, if you want EQ, if you want effects, if you're an instrumentalist, if you're a vocalist, if you're doing jamming, if you're a band, if you're a church and you're using your whole soundboard. So whatever soundboard you use, you can go right from your soundboard into your iPhone. Now at the end of this video, I'm going to show you exactly what it sounds like. So right now you're listening to my Rode mic, uh, video mic up here, but at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you what it sounds like. I'm gonna show you how to set it up. There's a few key items you need. First of all, your soundboard. You plug it in, you get your mic sounding good, and let's see if I have this all plugged in. And I have it turned up, and I'm seeing some lights here. Got a little compression on there. I'm gonna leave off the effects. The next thing you need is to go stereo out. Now this board goes out stereo out. So I have a cable, it's really, really long cable, okay? I have this because sometimes I'm shooting with a camera that's far away. So it's like a 20 foot cable. One end is basically a eighth inch and one end is uh, basically these two quarter inch cables and I'm gonna put those in stereo out, okay, left and right. I always use white for left, red. I'm gonna throw this off the end of the table because it's so long we don't need all that. So now you have your output, your stereo output going out to this cable. Now I did a video a couple months ago on the Headset Buddy and this is key okay this is key because if you just plug this which a lot of people are doing plugging just this into their iphone this is a line level signal and the iphone is not made to take that it, it's overloads the iphone so the key the real key of getting good audio is first of all you get a good mix use some headphones you mix everything then you have to get it into the iphone either to record on a recording device or to stream to facebook so to do that here is here are the big big things first of all I use the Headset Buddy. It's like 20 bucks. I'll put a link in the description. The Headset Buddy is right here. Okay, so you, it's like basically a $20 cable. Uh, you can use an iRig 2. You can use the new iRig Stream, which is really cool, I think. I'll put the links to these in the description. The iRig Stream is $100. This is 20, you know, 20 or $30. What this does, it does two things. You plug in your eighth inch headphone out, basically over your phones or your, or your stereo out into this into this thing now it actually converts this into the tip ring ring sleeve the trr t tip tip ring ring uh, sleeve 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 trs but this is this is another adapter that can be used for that and i'll put that in another video but for this video i use the headset buddy because it takes the signal and knocks it down now i don't know the exact specifications of how far it knocks it but it puts it into the right level so it doesn't just blow the uh, heck out of your iPhone. Okay, so then you go on your iPhone and you download this app called Boss Jock. Now, the reason I do this, Boss Jock Jr., I believe it's a free app. Boss Jock Jr. is basically just an input level uh, recorder. You can record stuff with it, but what I use it for is to set the input level. Okay, if you get the input level, that's probably one of the hardest things for the iPhone. So you use the little iPhone dongle or any anything like this. You need an app that actually will show you what your input level is. Like on my camera, there's like a little meter. So it doesn't really matter what your meter says here on your board. You could be, you could be like, yeah, this is great. So check, check, check. Oh good, I'm, I've got a good level. But if you plug it into your iPhone and it just goes, just blows it out. That's, I think, the problem a lot of people are having. So the other thing that this, this cable, this headphone uh, buddy cable does is it kind of does what this Rode adapter does. This Rode adapter is also in, uh, what I'm trying to show you is it goes from basically regular headphones uh, to the tip ring, 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 T-R-R-R-S, whatever, okay? 
So it, it, this is really important, and a lot of people just need this. So I'm going to put this here on the mixer, next to the mixer. I'm going to show you that when I talk through this, I can lock this in. So now I'm getting a signal, okay? I'm getting a big signal on my, on my actual uh, Boss Jog mixer. So I'm getting this big signal. See, it's jumping up. Check, check, check. And you can see that it's actually pretty good. So that's, that's decent. I can turn it down a little bit. If I don't want to overload, I can turn the master down and just turn it up just a little bit, just a little bit to where it's there. And then I can just hit record and record this. So I'm gonna show you now um, what it actually sounds like at the end of this video, which the video will be over very shortly. I wanna make this a really short, concise video. So I'll make an overview of this. You get your mixer, your microphone, your guitars, whatever, put some headphones in the mixing board, listen, get a really good mix with compression, EQ, gain, whatever you want, um, effects, and then go out with one of these cables, either through your, uh, and I like to go right out of the stereo out. I guess you could go out of the monitor out, just however you're gonna go out to where you can actually set a level. Then you put Boss Jock on your phone, and I always do this when I'm setting up before I go live. Uh, if I'm gonna use this method, I just go check, 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 check. I listen through my headphones, I watch the level, check one, two, check one, two. I think that's a good level, check one, two. It's a good solid level, it doesn't seem like, it seems like it's a little too hot there. Check one, turn down the uh, microphone, check one, two. Just get a good level here, check one, two, check. Uh, the, the key of setting level on your phone here is just knowing where it should be, you know? Is it high enough without getting peaking? And that's what it is. Um, in this scenario, I use the very uh, inexpensive Headset Buddy line level uh, attenuator, and it also, what, what's brilliant about this is it also does the regular input to the tip ring ring uh, sleeve. So it, it, it actually does what, what, what it needs to do for the iPhone. It actually works brilliantly for the iPhone. Okay, but you could use any other version of that. So now I have this. Now what I can do is I can flip over to my phone. Okay, I can go straight to video. Okay, so now that you got it all set up, you wanna hear what it sounds like, let's hear what it sounds like to cut to the audio on the iPhone. All right, so now I'm live on the iPhone with the SM57 with the nice little guard. Oh, I'm losing my thing there. So now I have basically um, just everything that you need right here. I'm talking through the mixer. It's going into Facebook Live. I could do anything I wanted at this point. I could put a guitar. I could put some more effects on there. I could, hey, let's grab some effects. So now I've got some effects, some uh, reverb. If you want to be obnoxiously crazy like that, you can do that. And it sounds good and clear and crisp. Now, if you don't follow these uh, suggested steps that I put in this video, if you don't follow these steps, then you could be in some real trouble with it going... <laughs> digital distortion. What you would have to do is you'd have to use a little cable like this so you'd actually make it work. You'd go from your cable to a little uh, changeover thing to then this thing. Then you would plug this in. One of the biggest keys to this whole thing, I believe, is actually knowing your gear knowing the input levels, having a meter, being able to see what's going into your phone before it goes in there, and then once you go live, you know, if I'm at about this level on my mic, about this level on my master, I'm good to go. Hey guys, if you like the video, like, share, subscribe, and become a part of the channel by just supporting the channel by hitting the subscribe button, and ask me questions in the comments. What are your questions? I know that there are a lot of questions around this topic, and I'm willing to answer them all for you. God bless you, I'll see you on the next video.